Chess has been around for over 1500 years, but the type of chess we know today is approximately 550 years old. It all started in Valencia, Spain in the year 1475 when Francisco de Castelvi and Narciso Viñoles created a poem called Scax d'Amor, which is Catalan for Chess of Love. They were using chess to represent love in the poem and Castelvi was playing the white pieces representing the god of Mars, known in ancient Roman religion to be the god of war. Vignoles was playing the black pieces and was representing the god Venus, who was known to be the god of love. Now the reason why this game is considered to be the first one of modern chess is because they were using the modern rules for the queen and for the bishop. Previously, the queen had only been able to take one step diagonally and the bishop had only been able to take two steps, exactly two steps, diagonally. So this was the first time we saw the same rules for the pieces as we have today. Now in the game, they never castled and they never played en passant, so it's not known if those moves were available then or if they had invented them. But we do know that all the other pieces moved in the exact same way as we move them today and the game was beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the first game of chess ever recorded. So the game started with the move e4 and black played d5. This would later be known to be the Scandinavian defense in the 1800s, but in the year 1475 there was no name for this opening and it's also not known if they actually like were studying a lot of chess or if they were just playing moves for the poem. So after captures and queen captures, knight c3, queen went back to d8. This is still played today. Typically we say that you want to go queen d6 or queen a5, but... Bishop c4, looking towards f7, this is a very common placement for the bishop. Knight of 6, developing the knight, and then knight of 3. And in this position, bishop g4. Now, this is a blunder for black because in this position, there is the move bishop takes f7, which after king takes f7, there is 95 check, and after the king goes back, you can capture over here, destroying the king, uh, the king's position as the king will not be able to castle, and winning a pawn for white. Now, another move available in this position is to go 95, threatening this bishop, because now if the bishop captures the queen, there is the beautiful move bishop takes f7 checkmate. But this was not seen at the time. Instead, white played h3 to kick away the bishop. After bishop takes f3 and queen takes f3, black played e6 to develop this other bishop. Now here, the queen is able to capture on b7, and this is what white did. White captured on b7, threatening the rook, and black played knight bd7. Now knight b5 was played, threatening to go knight takes c7, and the idea being that after rook c8, there is knight takes a7, which also was played in the game, threatening now the rook. So now the rook, the only move that the rook can do is to go to b8, and after this the queen would have to go back, and obviously white would have a fantastic position threatening stuff like knight c6, but instead black played knight b6. Here white captured on c8, and after knight captures, d4 was played to get this bishop out. Now, in this position, another idea here would simply be to go bishop b5, and then maybe even go b3 to try to get this bishop out this way, as this king is right now extremely weak, but this was not played in the game. So after d4, knight d6, bishop b5 check was now played, and now black captured and went knight d7. In this position, d5 was played, threatening to capture on e6 and to simply exchange this pawn. And after captures, white went bishop e3, simply developing the bishop. Now, after bishop d6, rook d1 was played, putting some pressure on this d file. And now this pawn on d5 is threatened. So black went queen f6 and white decided to capture the pawn. Now in this position, there's actually c6, which is a really nice move. Idea being that after c6, if queen takes c6, there is actually bishop b4 check, um, winning the queen as, you know, the, there's a check and the queen is under attack at the same time. So this is a discovered check. 
But black did not play this, but after c6, the best move is to go rook takes d6, and this is still very favorable for white, but this would still be the best cause of action for black. So um, here, black played queen g6, threatening this pawn on g7, and bishop f4 was played. The idea of this, and I just find this quite beautiful, is that after bishop f4, there's bishop takes f4, and then queen d7 check. Let me just show you this. Of this, it's a check made in two after queen takes d7 and uh, queen d8. So, you know, at this time, people knew about pins. Um, so, I, I just find that so fascinating. And actually, guys, this is ex exactly what happened. After bishop f4, Narciso captured the bishop, and there was queen d7 check, king f8, and queen d8 checkmate. And this was the whole game. This is how... This is how the first game of modern chess finished. And I find this just so fascinating because I think that one of my favorite things about chess is the fact that there is such a concrete way of, of thinking. And there is a lot of ways that we cannot really resonate with people from the 1400s because their lives were completely different from ours. But when it comes to a chess game, it's like we're merging ourselves into their thoughts and we can exactly understand what they were thinking. So that's how I wanted to share with you this game. It's incredible to think about this game was played such a long time ago. Did the players miss some tactics? Yes, there were some tactics missed, obviously. But I mean, the queen and the bishop had never moved this way. <laughs> so no wonder that, you know, sometimes moves such as bishop takes f7 that were uh, moves of, of longer range for the bishop that they were not played and I think that that is just absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed the first game of chess, modern chess, ever recorded. Good luck with all your chess guys, I'll see you all in my next video.